just keeping Hester Joe's life in my in just the corner of my eye. <laughs> and maybe I should be watching Yapso. He'll take first blood. Sunstrike is gonna connect. Nice. He actually stuck around. It almost looked like a last minute juke attempted by Rise. Trying to dodge that moment oh. with his guru forward into the stomp. They're gonna make it a two far. Ace goes down as well. He has no region left. He has to like bot rating. You know, Axe, farming some jungle creeps, getting at 5 minutes level 6, so not bad for sure, but the Luna getting free farm off of that. <laughs> You're right. Just when the Axe has the same amount of net worth as, uh, as your lifestealer. And, okay, so Ace has to trigger up the rage. You know what Invoker's doing, like he's preparing just to wait for the Sunstrike target. Ace goes up into the tree lines, the Sunstrike's Beautiful. on the way in, and it hits absolutely perfectly. For Rev might be a little bit trapped, however, Ooh. but he'll dodge the rolling boulder and then start to TP out. The glimpse will cancel it, however. So for Rev will have to do this the hard way with the creep wave trying to body block up the Earth Spirit. He's pretty damn He's low, but maybe with a double edge, <laughs> he'll actually find the kill. So they take two hero kills underneath the tier one tower. Force the Oh. Yeah, yeah they know. Fighters revealed. He has to run up there and just see if he can find Noya. So Noya does his rolling boulder down, but then very quickly loose and beam. They get the double kick, but with a cold snap up from the Invoker, he is most definitely dead. Yeah, it was a very nice smoke play from them, trying to bring down the SF. Uh, yeah, that most farm hero. Charge forward, loose and beam. The spirit's up. It's going to actually slow down. Stun up over on the disruptor. He broke free pretty quickly, but there is still one last loose and beam in from the Invoker, which will get the kill on the disruptor. Yeah. And, you know, that's those early mo moves we were talking about. S. Joe's got an easy kill. Came down with a creep wave, so the, the chance of uh, spin was also massively increased. But Noya has got to be careful. Spirit's down again, looking for the stomp. He'll actually connect over on the SF, then straight into an eclipse. Wow. The extra hit over to Noya. The creep wave, I think, only took one of those beams. Yeah, that was dropped through away. I think he, I, I wonder if he has to understand that Radiant Creep that was chasing him was definitely the live stealer. So he goes into the stomp. The Rage will protect A, so Ace just mops him up. Takes a quick and easy kill, and surprisingly, Forever already backed up. But Ace pressured the issue anyway. Radiant's middle tower is under yeah, attack. so he gets a nice kill on the life stealer, and they need to find things like this. Nice call. Hester Joe with the invis room. He just stalked the invoker. Oh, Stalk, that's stalked him down from uh, almost near the ancients and then just watched him walk back and forth a little bit and it's just a super good item. Um, especially whenever you have these physical damage lineups, this lifestealer, SF, you know, obviously all physical damage to Solar Crest mitigates a whole lot of that. Wow, okay, they're gonna glimpse back on Yapsaw too. The kick was able to connect, but it was just once they had vision, it was a very easy glimpse. He was originally trying to contest the deep hoarding of the OBS, which is watching the front row. Like maybe that's that's the critical point. Uh, the Invoker still needs a little bit more time. Is the Lunar ready to fight for bears? Oh. Okay, that works. With the blink, the call, the sun strike, leaving extra damage. Has a Joe. Oh, Couldn't kill the Dazzle in time. Yeah, they almost bring him down. Uh, I, th I don't think Fada's necessarily uh, looking for a specific point to where he can go pressure, you know, buildings or be involved in fights. I think it's more of just he's going to be involved one now. He can't, can't let the ulti off, he has a little bit of extra frost armor that coming in from that Ogre there. Frostbait which has dominated up. But he needs extra help, so now he turns on the ulti with the loser beam! Varda going manly, but now his own creep turns against him! As uh, Life's still able armor. to invest into... Oh, oh, oh uh, Brev. He's kicked, he doesn't have Stampede, he doesn't have a TP scroll, he doesn't have any friends around here. And with Ryan's in the neighborhood, they can glimpse him back if he starts to run, so he has to stand his ground. And four men from Cloud9, they were TPing multiples into the shrine. That was just the wrong place to be for a centaur. Yeah, but I think even that, not the biggest deal in the world. They scout out all these heroes, and they know they're, they're most probably going to move up the top before too long. As everybody sort of backs out of top. Yep, so we're getting to a safe position, and they can defend this tower pretty easily. Um, SF's not even there, so they don't have their, their best tower siege. And then both the bear's core is immediately down to bottom, so... I think even a, you know, a, a death like that, very oh, fine with it. Misses the call. Dazzle will be able to run away from this one. They still have that level 4 glimpse, so they're going to bring the Dazzle back up towards the live stealer. But now the extra help for Rev turns around and shades the ET split. That's going to kill off the axe if Dazzle didn't do enough damage. He's got a full solar crest. Holy crap. On the Dazzle? Well, they let him farm the bottom lane for 5 out of 14 minutes, maybe even more. Charge forward, they miss the Hoof Stomp. Rise, try and juke. 
flying super aggressively, pushing way up in these lanes, and they try and kill him, and then he just lives with a sliver of HP, and he gives them so much information. Super nice play from Fada. That's the joke. Great jump. Quick TP in, right behind the tower. No trees are broken, obviously, with a new patch. And then an easy jump in with the infest bomb, so... It's push time, then. If they can, if they, okay, it's gonna be a tier one tower deny time, then. Unless Fada wants to force this issue, maybe with the Hoofstorm pin right into the Eclipse! Shadow Fiend Baby Knight didn't stand a chance! Yeah. Instantly destroyed, and now the tier 2 tower comes under threat. 40 seconds without the SF. Yeah, and he went for the Hurricane Pike first as well. Not even able to put it to use, just gets blown up within the duration of the stun. And now, like you said, just gonna start beating into this they tower. They see Hester Joe. Quick hold stomp over with the exclusive beam into the stomp. They just keep the axe in position. He's sleeping in the stun strike. will wake him up, burning the retina. And even the Earth Spirit thought he was, he was actually creating space, but he rolled into Fada. And with a little bit of help, can sustain the damage and then just win. So both teams so unhealthily close to each other wow. with the smokes. And Hester Joe, he almost has to go for a blind blink up the hill as the smoke will break. Oh. But for Rev, in he goes! A two-man hoof stomp. The storm will come down. But you've already lost the Earth Spirit. Maybe Knight lets the ulti go. Maybe you can negate a little bit of this damage. But the tornado it hits on three heroes from the Invoker. They've picked up the axe as well as the while Cloud9 were trying to retreat. So three heroes lost. Yeah, I, I think if you're going plus Wex, then you'll you'll still get some of the talents. That's a joke. Oh, you missed the timing. But with the Yule Scepter, we will be missed a little missed timing out from Bez. The result's still the same. The Axe is down for 45 oh. seconds. The pushback keeps Fada out of range, so his Eclipse has just new ending, and they push him into the fight. No ability to attack as he gets basically perma-stunned on top of the Shrine of Cloud Nine. Now he's back up again. Need a little bit more help to get him back out of harm's way. If that is possible from Bez, they glimpse back over Cloud9. Really want that kill over on the Luna. And Fada starts his TP out. The Indy Splinter is dead. They push him around. But no the TP is way. still successful all the way out. And Bears are disengaging. They don't have Stampede available, but there's still a lot of them hanging around. So Cloud9, even with Baby Knight behind the Hulk Stomps in the Sunstrike, they'll do the job. The Earth Spirit's going to go down this time around. The Shallow Grave was back off cooldown. So quick four stuff and Centaur will TP out. Blowing up a hero and then you know, playing the fight 4v5. And that's just not going to be a possibility now that he has that Yules. Spirit's out again with the Stomp. The Lucent Beam holds him there. Uh, this is such a brutal combination. And then you go for the Hoof Stomp double edge into Lifestealer. Didn't have the armor up, but obviously they've already popped most of their range damage. And they don't really care anyway. Tier 2 towers being chipped away and Cloud9 can do nothing to stop it. The last remaining tower gone. Just shy of the 22 minute mark. Yeah, a fear of farming around the map. All the meanwhile has the blink now. Oh, what a nice call. They found him again? That was a super nice stomp. Forced uh, after just like barely. And it's going to see a decent amount. Sees Noya making a break for the tree line. They know he's in there. They don't understand where Rise is, however. So Rise could be in a really good position to slow down and actually stun up. Yapsol getting hit by that, but the Eclipse is already off. One more drop. Will there be enough damage? It may be a Silence of Luna because in the middle of the storm, but Hester Joe on 90 HP it's retreats body. out, but they've lost three. They know Joe's in the trees. He'll blink down further south and get his TP. No! Oh, he got red! And he got killed, and Ryze will join him. It's going to be a full team kill coming the way of Bears as Ryze is the final one to die. And they actually just call it. Not even 26 minutes in, and Bears have taken the game against Cloud9. That was that was brutal. Just so many reads all over the map. The hero not dying a lot early on, just not giving up any kills well in the end his axe, and things like that. It just happened, but you can't stop that. Um, just. Really nice, safe play from him. Fada with some great movements around the map, and they just consistently read them over and over and over again, as well as just a much better draft than Bears, I think, as well. Man, Bears look insanely scary. They look so good. If Cloud9 can't do it, I fear for ninjas in pajamas, but they're the 